Hi, welcome back to Blackberry Store. Today I've got the top three Blackberry Leap accessories for you. I've actually got four products here. One's a screen protector. So I'm gonna put that one to the side for now because you're probably quite familiar with how they work. So these three products, I've got two cases and one charge and sync pod. These are my favorite so far for the Blackberry Leap. So let's start with the Flex Shell. I've got this in two different colors for you. And I just wanna really start with this one because it's a little bit different to what we've had before from Blackberry. So I just wanna kind of show you what it's like. So just important with the Flex Shell, you do get the Blackberry screen protector included. So if you are buying one of these Flex Shells, as long as it's genuine Blackberry, you don't need to go and buy the screen protector too. So just notice that's actually in there. So I'll just put that to the side for now. So this is basically the Flex Shell and I've got my Blackberry Leap here. I'm gonna click it into place and we're done. And you can see from the cover on the box, the way it's supposed to work is this center flap here on the back, you bend it down and underneath and it basically just sits like that for you. And this one's sliding down my display table here. Obviously if my display table was flat or your desk was flat, it would stay still. But you get the idea. And this is fantastic because even if you have it rotated, it'll still stand up for you um, a little bit. And it's great to have on your desk. If you want to, if you want to watch something online, and if you want to take like a conference call or have a group meeting, it's great for that because it gets out of your hand. And from there, when you're ready to go, just flick it up, click it into place at the bottom, and you're away. So that's the main difference with the Flex Shell. We can stand it up, you can flick it back, click it into place at the bottom, and you can take it with you. So not only will it stand on the desk for you, you've actually got a good bit of protection for your phone. Let's assume that we've popped the screen protector on, so you've got some screen protection there. The edges here, around all four corners, I don't know if you can see that on the camera at all, they're raised up by, I'd say, approximately a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half. So if I drop my phone, my Black Relief, flat down, where the edges will catch whatever the surface is, it's going to actually stop the screen itself from impacting on the surface. Obviously, if it dropped at an angle, it's not gonna protect that. But if it drops flat, it's gonna be absolutely fine, or at least have some level of protection versus not having anything at all. So a case like this could save you a few cracked screens over the times. And on the back, you've still got full access to your camera, and you've got access on the side here to the SIM card and micro SD card, all your volume buttons, and underneath, we've got our micro USB charging port. And on the top, stereo jack, mic, and power on and off button. So that's one of the most versatile cases. It's super slim, very thin. You won't feel it once it's actually on the phone, especially once you've been handling the phone for a little while, it'll feel really normal. So the Flex Shell, very versatile. It's very, very thin and light. You'll barely even notice it's on your Blackberry after a little while. You can actually see quite how thin it is, but it's also gonna give you some light duty protection on your phone as well. That's one of our favorite cases so far. I'm gonna pop that one to the side now. I'm gonna open this one for you. It's a slightly different color. Let me just show you. It's like a, like a mix of a, a blue and green, really. I know the pictures on the internet sometimes don't quite truly represent the real color, so hopefully this camera shot will instead. So I'm gonna pop my leap into the bottom, click it in at the top. There we go. And there it is again. So I'll just show you the color on the back. I'd say it's probably closest to a teal style color, but it's pretty attractive. It's quite nice, it's neat. It's better than black. I mean, if you've had black for a long time and you want something a bit different or you don't want your phone to get confused with somebody else's if you've had them on a meeting room table or something, it's a good way to go. All right, so that's the Blackberry Flex Shell we've just taken a look at. And I've just showed it to you in this color and the black as well. Remember the screen protector comes with it so you don't need to buy a separate one. Okay, all right, my next one. This is the traditional Blackberry leather pocket. I review them quite frequently whenever they come out for a new Blackberry, which has been all the latest ones. I really like them because they're very well made. They've got the nice Blackberry logo embossed there on the front. You can actually feel that. It's not just painted on or anything. Nice quality as usual with Blackberry stuff. 
I'm just going to pull out the bits and pieces from inside and then I'm just going to slide the Blackberry down into the case and you can see the camera lens is exposed at the top not that that would be particularly important to you while it's in the case and we've got access to the buttons at the top now some people like to have their phones inserted this way which is absolutely fine it will work either way with much older Blackberries, the cases were always designed for the screen to go against the back of the actual case. So your screen was completely protected in the event of a drop. But I've seen so many people these days put them in front ways. And to be honest, it doesn't make any difference. So this is our leather pocket. You can slide your Blackberry Leap in either way. Personally, my preference is to have the screen against the back of the case because then it, the screen's completely protected. If I dropped my phone and I scratched the top or whatever on the corners, it wouldn't be the end of the phone. But if I had it in this way around and I drop it and this impacts with the surface, like the ground or something, it could crack the screen and, you know, a screen replacement's pretty expensive on these. The product itself, it certainly feels thinner and lighter than any BlackBerry Pocket case that I've reviewed before. Also with these new cases, there's no battery save technology built into them. So that could be one reason why they're now a bit slimmer and a bit lighter than they used to be. But it still looks nice, it's pretty tough. You'd have to tear pretty hard to tear any of these edges. Hopefully you can see on the camera there, it's actually really well stitched all the way through. It looks actually stitched and glued on the seam. So I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on there and you can see, that's not gonna tear anytime soon. So it's gonna be a pretty strong case and should last quite a while for you. So that's the Blackberry Leather Pocket. Okay, third, I've got my favorite accessory, which if you've looked at any of my stuff before, you'll know I go on about them all the time. This is the Blackberry Charge and Sync Pod, which has been made for the Leap. We used to have Charge and Sync Pods all the time for older Blackberries and they stopped making them for a while and with the Classic and the Passport coming back out they've re-engineered the phones to work on a charging pod. So I'm just going to take this one out show you what it's all about. If you're not familiar with it you will be in the next 30 seconds. So this is the charging unit it's quite heavy which is nice so it'll sit firm on the desk and this is an adapter for the Blackberry Leap. I'm just going to pull it out. I'm just going to take all the wrapping off. And this simply just clicks on like that. And now the Leap will just drop in and there we go. With this unit, it comes with a micro USB cable. I can do two things with this. I can run the USB cable straight to my laptop obviously or a desktop or whatever else you've got and you can sync it and it'll also charge through your desktop as well. If you do charge your Blackberry through your desktop it will take longer to charge than if you run it into the wall socket. The other alternative is to run this USB cable so your alternative is to plug this cable into your current Blackberry charger and you can run it straight off the wall and it will recharge faster. Or you can use the existing Blackberry cable you've already got that came with your Blackberry Leap in the box. Just plug that cable straight into the back of your charge and sync pod and it will start to work. So if you'd like the convenience of synchronizing your Blackberry Leap with your desktop via your USB cable, then that's a great solution for you. Just one end into the back of the charging pod, one goes into your desktop or your laptop. And if you just want the fastest possible charging, run your current wall charger that you have straight into the back of this unit. So not only does this make it really convenient for you to charge your phone and keep it up and running all the time, what I like about this is it gives you Blackberry somewhere to live, whether it's at home or at work, wherever you might be. It's a really nice viewing angle. It stops your Blackberry just from being laid around on desks. Okay, finally, I've got the Blackberry screen protector. This is the official twin pack coming from Blackberry. Two really good, high quality screen protectors. I'm actually gonna open this brand new packet so you can see how they come inside two screen protectors. Now the nice thing about using a high quality screen protector, it should be easy to apply and you should have no bubbles underneath once you've applied it. This is a two-step application which is easy to follow on the instructions. Make sure the screen on your phone is completely clean first. Try and use a microfiber cleaning cloth if you can get your hands on one 
Alternatively, just use some very clean cotton. And you'll find once the screen protector goes on, it should look really good on the phone. Quick recap, if you're gonna buy any accessories for your new Leap, I would grab yourself a BlackBerry Flex Shell. I would grab yourself a charging pod, a leather pocket if you think that'll work well for you, and of course, screen protectors also. Thanks for listening. Any questions, let us know.